So welcome back to the uh, podcast episode. We have Hans with us here today. Hi, Hans. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Gabor. Hi, Hans. See, everybody calls him Gabor, right? It's, it's Gabor. It's Gabor. Gabor. Right? I was Gabor the only one who knew that. All right. In, yeah. Ar- in Arizona. He knows, because he's a professional. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Eastern Europeans do to each other, call him by the correct name. <laughs> well, then he called me Zdenek. Zdenek. Yeah. Zdenek. Zdenek. Yeah. Mr. Z- I don't want to torture people, Mr. so how is this my middle name? Yes, if you want to be nice to him. Mr. Z- 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 Zdenek. Yeah, I used to type on typewriter my name, and Zdenek. there was this uh, spell check. As soon as I type ZD, it beeps <laughs> it blows it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, today's topic, Hans, is... High drive dogs, are they necessary for protection? Yeah, are they? Yeah, well, this is actually long. I don't know if we have enough time. Yeah. I'll try to make it succinct. Okay. Um, basically, <clears throat> the answer is no. You do not need a high-driven dog for personal protection. You want a moderator-driven dog. Personally, and people say, oh, Hans is biased. But personally, I think German Shepherd... But German Shepherd is the uh, well-balanced German Shepherd is a perfect dog for it. German Shepherd is, uh, is, is, is or has been always popular because it's versatility. You can do protection, you can do search and rescue, you can go seeing eye dogs, whatever, right? Bomb detection, whatever. Right. It's the yeah. same dog, you can put him on any path and he should be able to do uh, he, he, he should be able to do uh, whatever path you put him on. Mm-hmm. Now, the problem arrived with, uh, with the, uh, uh, with the, the change of the training system, or I call it sportism, meaning what happened in early 80s, a lot of uh, p- dogs were imported from Europe uh, for protection training for law enforcement Mm -hmm. and uh, the law enforcement agencies didn't know what, uh, you know, they need a trainer. Mm -hmm. So what did they do? They went to sport clubs and they, um, they, uh, they hired a trainer there because it looks good. Dog flying through the air, hitting the sleeve was impressive. It is impressive. Yeah. Okay. And I like to watch it. That's why so many uh, YouTube video views. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, but but is that a personal protection? No, it's not. Yeah. But for that, the higher drive the dog is in prey, uh, the better he looks. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, because you know he he runs faster, jumps higher, yeah. and whatever. Yeah. Okay. It looks good. And so so they modify the personal protection training from the sport into personal protection training in uh, uh, like law enforcement or personal protection training Mm -hmm. in everyday life. Mm -hmm. And all those trainers now started to do this type of a training, which is based on prey. Okay. Right? That's a big one. I mean... Right. That's a big one. And and as I always say, prey is for hunting and defense is for defending. Right, so so not rocket science. Yeah, well, <laughs> I try to simplify it uh, for everybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bring it to the lowest common yeah. denominator. Yeah. Um, yeah. and uh, and so so so, but so th- but in sport, the defense unfortunately is not as promoted. Okay, now there are some clubs or people I know, like I, I know a group in Portugal, for example, who do uh, develop, they start dog in defense and then they bring them to sport. Mm-hmm. So they develop defense drive and then they bring it into sport, which I think is a sound way to do sport because the dog look more real, Yeah. right? It's not just some kind of a routine where the toy dog is performing circus tricks, Yeah. okay? It's actually for real. Yeah. You know, he, they still teach them to target the equipment because in sport, like a Schutzen style sport, you have to target the equipment. Otherwise, the decoy or the helper, they call it in sport, uh, would get a bit in places where he doesn't have a protection, right? Mm-hmm. So you want him to target uh, mm-hmm. the equipment in sport. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> sleeve in this case. But unfortunately, that got developed into. Um, in that 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 uh, leaked into the actual personal protection training, right? These these sport trainers, that's what they know. 
Yeah. They know how to make the dog look good in sport and all that. So they pick that up, and what they do is they tar- they teach the dog to target the equipment, right? Because that's what they do in sport. Or- and then they withdraw the equipment with the idea uh, that the dog, if the equipment is not there, will bite for real, okay. bite, bite whatever is there. Okay. And unfortunately, that's not how it works, right? That's why you see dogs... Uh, uh, a rear police dog in action, they run towards the bad guy, they don't see sleep and they won't bite. Yeah. Right? But that's more like a default thing. That's not what I want to talk about today. Yeah. Uh, what, what, is, uh, what, what I want to talk about is that all that is high driven. Right? So now you take, you know, the sport and sportism, you want a high prey drive. Yeah. Right? Because the dog looks better. Yeah. Right? Now, the, the good German Shepherd should be able to um, sport or personal protection, okay? So so for that, you need, or if it's a search and rescue or whatever, you want a moderately driven dog, right? So that the dog can live in the family, herd sheep or, you mm-hmm. know, whatever, or lay down on the mm-hmm. floor uh, in your office for five hours without yeah. climbing the walls, right? Yeah. And, uh, and so, so uh, but s- suddenly, uh, this, this, these dogs, um, the monitor driven dogs, they were trained wrong way. Mm-hmm. They were trained by the high prey, um, or they are trained with high prey method, developing high prey methods, where the dog is really high prey drive, like Malinois and yep. stuff. Okay, and and the shepherd is not designed for that type of training. Doesn't mean he can't do personal protection, it's just the training system is wrong. Yeah. Okay. And so um so the uh the 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 uh high high prey drive now took over the world and everybody want a high prey driven dog. So now they pick up German Shepherd and start turning them in Malinois, which looks like German Shepherd, meaning they are teaching them to act out of prey uh, and respond to prey training, uh, high drive prey training. And the German Shepherd is not that type of dog, needs different training for that. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and, and so what happens is they start specializing the dogs, German Shepherd dogs I'm talking about, into high prey. So those dogs now performing well in sport, mm-hmm. right? And and perform, uh, you know. But but it's ruining the breed. Mm-hmm. It's ruining the breed because remember, German Shepherd should be versatile breed. It can be put in, on any path and do well. I'm not saying he should master all p- paths, but but if I start with Shepherd, I should be able to do search and rescue. I should be doing seeing eye dog. Mm-hmm. I should be able to do protection. I should be able to do sport. Mm-hmm. I should be able to do any of it. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that's the beauty. There's no other breed on this world which even now um, can do all that, right? And and so 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 I said on the beginning, you do not need high parade dog to do or high driven dog uh, to do uh, a personal protection. Personal, I think. High driven dogs are pain in the ass to handle. Only the most experienced yeah. people can handle it, yeah. and uh, and uh, they they you know they they just yeah. are not versatile dogs because they're you know and people say well you know you know you want them to do well in sport and all this and you cannot really do that okay you have to modify the training to the type of the dog. And no type of the dog to training you know. Yeah. Okay, because that way you are ruining the breed. Yeah. You know, if you if I if I if I if I wanna have a German Shepherd act like a Malinois, well okay. Why don't I just get myself a Malinois instead? Yeah. You know? And uh, the uh, and that because the by nature, genetic nature, the German Shepherd is not super prey driven dog. The people, because of their training techniques, start leaning towards Malinois because they are prey driven. I mean, extremely prey driven, so they work well. Uh, you know, uh, they 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 uh, they work well in the prey drive, 
and uh, German Shepherd doesn't work that well in pre drive. So I mean high pre drive, right? Pre-drive, so yeah. the so the 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 the, the, the high drive pre drive method is more applicable to Malino. Doesn't have to be but it's not even sound for Malinois, but Malinois respond to that type of training better than Shepard. Because if you don't know what you're doing with Shepard and try to train him in high prey drive, then of course high prey driven Malinois will do better than Shepard. Yeah. That doesn't mean the Shepard is uh, uh, not suitable for personal protection. It just means you're choosing wrong method. Mm-hmm. And wrong method is uh, uh, what is ruling the world these days mm-hmm. you know prey driven training so what is what is the the, the malinois do uh, in in they such a high, high prey drive they teach them to target the equipment and uh, so the dog does really good on equipment and then they send them in a real scenario where there is no equipment if you do it with a german shepherd he just comes there and says well where's my sleeve right mm-hmm. okay because he's monitor driven and he was poorly trained to target equipment so he's looking for equipment. Mm-hmm. Now, if you take Malinois, he's training also poorly on uh, equipment, but because he's such a, I want to say wacko, but yeah. I will not. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody heard this. <laughs> and, and, and he goes into a scenario, yeah. and the dog uh, doesn't seem sleep and see so amped up to bite something, so he bites. Yeah. But he does it uh, despite of the training, not because of it, yeah. right? For Shepard, you know, you, you, you train him in high prey drive or for prey uh, action. Yeah. And, of course, if you train for prey action, the higher prey, better it is. And you teach him to target equipment. That's good for sport because there is equipment. Yeah. But if uh, you do it in uh, police work or personal yeah. protection dog, there is no equipment. Dog's like... There's no sleeve, so I should, what, what yeah. you know? And uh, that doesn't mean the dog cannot be trained protection. It could be trained protection, but it got to be done the way I teach it. Yeah. Right? And, and it's not, you know, people say, I, well, why did this one guy call me on Facebook? Obsolete dog trainer. You know? You're obsolete. I'm obsolete dog yeah, you're trainer. Meaning that you're... Yeah, I'm Your using methods. methods which are old and yeah. they are overcome now by new methods. Uh-huh. But, uh, you know, I train every way those people call me that. Yeah. So, you know, and... and uh, it you're, you're training more of what thousands and thousands of years. Right, and suddenly <laughs> suddenly you put an yeah. e-collar on the dog and, fixed, you, and the piece of people who do not put e-collar on dog are obsolete. They're right? debunked it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my don't trick. Get, don't get Hans going on the word debunk. Yeah, you say debunk in front of me and I start seeing yeah. red. <laughs> um, yeah, so... So in other words, so when you train a shepherd, you you know you 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 gotta train the dog in front of you. Okay, you should be coming in my class, and you would see I have anything from Chihuahua, Italian Greyhound yeah. mix to Paco. over Labrador Retriever, Doberman, German Shepherd, yeah. mixed breeds. Yeah, Paco is the uh, the little dog. And right, and what is, what is that? What is that, uh, that? That 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 shaggy dog? It was Shepherd and shepherd Poodle mix. Poodle. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and and they do yeah. great. Yeah, you know, sure. but. Uh, so, so you know, like uh, for example, and this is our real numbers. Yeah. The uh, Canadian Mountain Police uh-huh. they have their own breeding program, and they say only one in forty dogs will pass their muster. Okay. One in forty. Yeah. I talked to Yiri, rest in peace, and uh, and he said if I when I was training dogs and, and breeding dogs for a Czech Border Patrol, if I would have those results, I would. They would send me to uranium mines. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. For for treason. Yeah. You know, there would be a treason. Yeah, what are you doing? Here? What are you doing? Forty out of forty one dog? You know, and I've heard it from uh uh some other cop, I don't want to say his name, but uh same thing on, on, on pedigree database and on my yeah. you know, same thing. Oh I when I'm selecting dogs, only one in forty will pass. Well, they don't know how to train dog. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. you know, and that's because they're training in high prey, yeah. right? And if the dog doesn't fit high prey and their standard, they don't know what to do. Yeah, you know, they're trying to put the square peg. They blame around. the dog, basically. Yeah, well, right. the genetics and whatever. Yeah. It's all genetics. Yeah. Well, if it's all genetic, how can I can train Chihuahua, man? Yeah, 
So just look at Paco, <laughs> the little dog on uh, yeah. Hans's Alpine K9. Right. So, page. so you know, yeah. uh, maybe when we do the protection video, we should put video of Paco, Paco. on the beginning. Yeah. yeah. It's such a great example. Yeah. yeah. So, so when people have, buy the video, they can yeah. then see, you know, that you can train a damn dog. Yeah. Right. That's I mean, true. I used to make a living uh, when I came to Phoenix by training dogs and, uh, I'm the grip it, so I have a harder time with it. But uh, so I'm making video. I teach. Yeah. Right? They said, who cannot, who cannot work, he can, can teach. teach. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's for a different reason. Except, but. except, yeah, I've done yeah. it for 55 yeah. years. Yeah. So, so the thing is, you know, I, I, people call me and they said, can you, can you uh, uh, train my dog protection? And I, uh, the first question was, how old is the dog? Yeah. And they would tell me. And then I say, if somebody rings the bell on your door, does your dog bark? And they say, yes. I said, yes, I can train your dog, yeah. right? Protection. Or they said, no, he doesn't bark. I said, well, let me see what we can do to make him. Yeah, you didn't ask what kind of dog. You no, just asked, no, yeah, yeah. no. Well, well I, you mean, know, I mean, if they okay. want a little tikka poodle, I said, yeah, he's probably not going to be a man stopper, but I can teach but him. But the point being, right, is, 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 is doable. Right, I mean, it's, it's yeah. doable, yeah. yeah. You know. I mean, there are physical limitations yeah. to a dog, right? Yeah, you not know? everybody could be a linebacker, right? right I mean, know. for the NFL, but so there's yeah, physical. Or, 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 you know, throw basket if yeah. you're seven feet tall. Yeah. You know? but. So, so anyway, what I'm saying is you do not need, going back to full circle, uh, uh, you do not need a high-driven dog in order to do protection. Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, for family protection, you are better off to use moderately driven dog because that dog is going to be less pain in the ass to be in the family. Yeah. But then you got to apply different methods. Unfortunately, almost nobody knows these methods anymore, except the obsolete dog trainers like me. <laughs> <laughs> but you're listening to this or watching this, so you yeah. must be interested. <laughs> well, I think so. But you know, it's, 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 it's. It's it, always people when they run out of arguments, they start calling names. You know. Yeah, it's uh, we like to watch cooking shows with my wife, and uh, it seems like there's a uh, uh, so the the French cooking particularly, and then all of a sudden, I think late nineties, early to maybe two thousands, the new chefs came, right? Right, and right? new chefs, it, yeah, and all this food, and now, and it was, I think it was a somewhat of a short movement. Now they're saying, you know what the the, the food back then was. They're they're uh, they're they're actually. Uh, yep, Hans got a call. <laughs> it's on airplane mode. I don't know how that happened. It's okay. Until we leave this in, it's a real show. Uh, and they're like, "Well, that stuff was really good, and it was good for a long, long time." Yeah, because it was good. Yeah, if it, it was if delicious. It, it's good all the way from caveman to about 1980. Yeah, and suddenly it's not good. <laughs> suddenly it's obsolete. We yeah. debunked it. You know, just make sure. When you are training by the most modern training method, you have Oakley's. Oakley? Yeah, you have, you have, have Oakley's Oakley? and all okay. the battle so you have dress look. and e collar and you have to look and the good. dog have goggles and you have to look bulletproof vests. It's about and, the looks, you know that. Yeah, it's all about the looks. <laughs> Forget about the results. Yeah. So No, that's a great uh, I think this was a great discussion and, and, and I mean these these discussions will I would also say one more thing. Yep. Okay. Uh, when I train dogs, I'm writing book and I'm, you know, doing these videos and I, I, I don't want to have it to be just another manual, okay? Yeah. I want to teach people to have the relationship with the dog and the dog working for the handler and with the handler, not because it's some kind of a trick mm -hmm. or some kind of a routine yeah. or some kind of a, uh, you know, circus trick yeah. you know I, I i just i i want them to do it like we're a team yeah. you know like the wolf has a leader and they go hunt deer yeah. and you know what i was uh i was up in wyoming and i was watching coyotes that are not wolves and they don't really live in packs right that much mm -hmm. but but it was interesting i would go camping in the middle of the winter mm -hmm. right with my dogs on cross-country skis and all that and i would go and, and at, in the evening, you know, or so, like, like, not too late, but just about after sunset, uh -huh. suddenly you start he hearing coyote yeah. howling, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
you know, a yap. Yeah. Yep, and uh, it's different than wolf. And uh, and then and then uh, you uh, you suddenly hear another one, like completely somewhere else, mm -hmm. right? And then you hear another one, completely somewhere else, and they may be mile apart. But you know they marking their territory and they hunt together and they communicate with each other and wolves do the same thing as yeah. even more so yeah. you know and, and 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 so they have a leader for the region right they know oh your boss over there mm -hmm. so i won't enter your territory and and the coyotes do that and and wolves say okay there is a there is a deer you know and they they communicate with each other yeah right and and they work like a pack yeah and, you know, people, I call them idiots, they deny that the wolves are working in a pack. But, you know, that's not true, my experience tells me. And, uh, and, and so, so the, 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 they, they communicate with each other, so they work for each other and with each other. And that's mm -hmm. what I want uh, people learn and do uh, with their dogs. Mm -hmm. It's not just go to do shoot and hunt, yeah. training uh, for the dog to do circus tricks and uh, and then put the dog in the kennel. Yeah, all about the points and that's it. Right. I want you to have the dog the same way caveman has it, yeah. had it. Yeah. Right? You know, you rely They're on it. They depend on each other. Yeah, you depend on each other. Yeah. You are a pack. Yeah. You hunt together. You protect, you know, he gives you warning. You're a team. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to teach.